my name is Mirko Moreno from Energy Economy. Today I will show you how you can set up uh, the parameters for the lighting of a uh, red stove for rigor 25 kilowatts. So let's see it. Okay, we need to go to the last menu on the right, which is uh, service menu. After that, we have to go to the button plus to go to. 8, press enter and here is the code. The code always is the sum of all numbers which are random every time and after that we need to add 1. So 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 0 this is 9 plus 1 10. Press enter on. We are in the service menu. We have to press one more time plus it will show par and after that enter so here are the parameters parameter 0 that means ignition timeout in minutes maximum wait time for successfully firing in the ignition phase usually here I don't think that it's necessary to something to be touched from the factory it comes on 30 for this model so leave it like this the next one parameter 1 this is maximum wait time for flame detection with igniter of in the test fire sequence this is in minutes again here um, I don't think it's needed something to be changed the parameter number 2 we don't uh, touch it and here is the important if you have some kind of problem that you need to lower or higher the, um, the, the feeding, of, uh, feeding uh, with pellets in the lighting uh, phase uh, we you can change it the, the parameter in the parameters in the next uh, few so uh, let's see parameter number three which is important uh, and we can change it if it's needed uh, to set up uh, a good lighting so parameter number three at the center here it's 150 this is defines the feeder pulse during the heat up sequence um, for example uh, let's explain and uh, parameter number 4 so you can uh, get an idea how it works parameter number 4 defines the feeder dosing time during the heat up sequence Usually here for this model 3 and 4 are set up from the factory equal which is ok. Uh, this parameters 3 and 4 this is uh, this is the pace of heat up. Uh, better don't uh, don't change them. But if you change them, keep in mind that parameter number 3 is uh, heat up feeder off time, parameter number 4 is heat up feeder on time. So if you lower the off time, you rise the on time or opposite. But for this model, if it's equal, it's normal. The next one, <coughs> parameter number 5. This defines the feeder pulse during the fuel ignition. Uh, this phase <coughs> number, this is the phase of fuel ignition. Uh, so here, this is the, the, the time of 118 parameter 5 and it's connected with parameter number 6 which defines the feeder dosing, dosing time during the fuel ignition sequence 
this is a time on so for example if you if your uh, window for example gets uh, uh, black uh, very easy uh, and uh, you see that uh, the feeder um, puts a lot of pellets in the burning chamber you can lower this parameter for example 25 and you can arise this parameter number 5 to 190 so lower parameter number 6 and higher parameter number 5 if you don't have enough pellets you can do opposite lower parameter number 5 and higher parameter number 6 this is the phase of fuel ignition the next parameter 7 defines the feeder pulse during the ignition test sequence this phase is ignition test and uh, again this is soft time parameter number 7 parameter number 8 defines the feeder using time during the ignition test sequence it's on time so we have again the <coughs> the parameter number 7 if I need to lower the quantity of pellets I need to rise it parameter number 8 to lower it or opposite if I need Put more pellets. Uh, this setup is very important for the lighting of uh, the pellet stove uh, because sometimes you might have the problems of, like I said, the black window or even um, uh, if it puts a lot of pellets and it cannot, uh, uh, it can uh, make a little explosion. Uh, or even it happens sometimes uh, if the pellets are not enough it put pellets in the burning chamber after that uh, it uh, it makes a second or third time uh, try to to light and when it has uh, uh, after the third the second and the third uh, time uh, it has a big dose of pellets in the burning chamber again it makes the explosion so these parameters with these parameters you are able to set up a normal lighting basically this is if you need more information for the pellet stove uh, you can find it in our youtube channel in energy Economy. thank you